dad said I can't support any other club, but then he won't he won't bring me to any football games and he won't buy me the shirt. So I had to go along with Crystal Palace. Are you pleased that I did that? Yeah. Good. My name is Josh, I'm a Crystal Palace fan, and the reason why I'm a Crystal Palace fan is because my dad, Colin, is a Crystal Palace fan. So my name's Colin Hyde, I'm, I've uh, been a Crystal Palace supporter since I was about six, and I passed it on to my son, who passed it on to... Me. Come on. Come on, Palace. <laughs> when I was young, I kind of flirted with other teams, but as soon as I saw the boys in red and blue, when I was 13, <laughs> I pick them and I always think that you, you don't pick your football team, your, your football team picks you. It's a kind of like a family heirloom and I hope when, um, when Grace has kids, her kids will be Palace fans as well. I think the only thing that would stop me supporting Crystal Palace would be if I started to suffer from dementia. And I didn't know that Crystal Palace was different from Arsenal or something. <laughs> and uh, you know, I wanted to go to a football match and I, I ended up at Millwall. But I think that's, that's the only reason. So beyond that, I'll always support Crystal Palace. It's just, as Josh said, it's, it's in the blood, it's in the DNA. It's the tradition, it's your team, it's your club. And originally it was because that was the local club where, where he lived, yeah. where my dad lived. I didn't support Crystal Palace because I wanted to us to win trophies, although it would be nice in my lifetime, it's because it is, I said to Grace, life has never been so good, I mean eight successive seasons in the Premier League, looks like we're probably going to 10th next season, so um, a cut run would be nice, so you've never known us. I have. Go on. 2013. But you were, you were one. <laughs> I really, really like football, I don't think it will happen, like when I'm older, I don't care if my friends are going to go out for a party and I've got like a football game, I'm going to do the football game no matter what. Good girl. Football's always going to be the one where I want to become professional. My dream is to become a professional football player. I couldn't imagine there being life without football or Crystal Palace really. It'd be quite a soulless place I think. It wouldn't be... Uh, it wouldn't really be the person I am right now because I mean, my biggest dream is just to become a professional football player. So if there wasn't football, I'd be like a totally different person. <laughs> <laughs> I like the atmosphere because like, it's very loud and awesome. Like every time they score a goal, everyone goes mental. <laughs> <laughs> they start jumping around in their seats, throwing beer in the air. <laughs> <laughs> and if we win against a big club, we usually get home very late. <laughs> and yeah, that's why I like it. I was quite lucky with Grace because Grace always liked football and I took her to watch Palace and then she never really mentioned wanting to support any other club. But I kind of did say to her, look, you know, you can go and support another club, as she said earlier on. You can go and support another club, but I won't buy you a top and I won't take you. So... Um, <laughs> The furthest game I'd like to go to is all around Europe. Do you think your mum would let you get away with going on a European tour? No. <laughs> no, I think she might have a word to say about that. With my people. How I feel when I watch my son and my granddaughter getting enthusiastic about Crystal Palace and the possibilities for the future, I feel absolutely full of pride. This season or next season, the three, the three generations will all go to a game together. And we'll, we'll send you a video. 